Hello, quick vlog today because I am running late. Uh, what was your, who was your favorite author when you were a teenager? I had a couple. Uh, um, Piers Anthony, his Xanth series I enjoyed. Um, I also really enjoyed Tamora Pierce. A lot of my same favorite authors actually because I found a lot of great books in the library when I was a teenager hanging out with my granddad. Uh, Meredith Ann Pierce, Edith Patow, uh, and Jacqueline Carey. Apparently I ha I did read Cushiel's Dart when I was like 13. Uh, my sister reminded me of that. I didn't realize how young I was when I first read it. So yeah, all my same, pretty much all my same favorite authors except for Steve Erickson. Uh, I found them when I was younger. Can you make a quick video of you twerking? Not right now, but maybe later. What is one mystery from history you'd love to know the truth behind? So many, so many mysteries. Uh, I'll try to just pick a few. Uh, I want to know um, where the Mayans went and if they're really and where the Olmecs went before them. Um, I want to know where, um, what, like who the Sea Peoples were that completely destroyed uh, Greece and that surrounding area and turned it into the Dark Ages. Uh, I guess, of course, I'd love to know if we could solve the mystery of whether or not a man named Jesus who did miracles or was a prophet actually existed. Uh, Katal Hoyek, I'd love to know who they actually worshipped. And uh, Cahokia, I would love to know the truth about when native people arrived in the Ameri in North America and South America uh, because it's starting to look like the people that I believed before were correct in that people arrived much earlier. So I'd love to know kind of how that actually happened. So yeah. Those are my mysteries. I have a lot. I love historical mysteries. I did a lot of research on them when I was younger. Age. I'm 29. In your opinion, what is the most difficult part of being a woman of color in today's world? There's not even just one difficult part, to be honest. It's like a bunch of, a bunch of tiny ants are biting you every day. And it's little things. You can't complain about the ant. I can't go, hey guys, an ant bit me. Because you guys will go, oh, an ant, shut the fuck up. There's worse things going on in the world. But there's thousands of ants and they're biting me constantly and they're biting me every day. And eventually you either get to the point where you, you build up a thick skin to it, you build up sadness for it, you build up depression, or you build up a rage. Uh, and I think that's kind of the hard part is people don't understand why we're so angry. Why are you so angry? Why are you so upset? Why can't you just chill? Different people respond to this stress differently. And it's very stressful because we can see that there's no fucking reason to be treated differently. And, you know, back in the day, at least there was shit like, well, God decided there should be slaves, you know, like, but now there's nothing. There's no excuse for why anyone is treated this way. And it's, it's hard to watch. What authors would you say are the largest influence on your writing? None of them. I know that's weird to say, um, but my, I didn't think I could ever be an author, and uh, so I didn't, and then once I really wanted to write, I wanted on purpose not to sound like anybody else. Now, I have failed because I think that, people, sorry for the camera moving, I think that you can't help but somehow imitate people. For example, I, I wanted my main character to have red hair and purple eyes, and then I read Song of the Lioness, and the main character had red hair and purple eyes. Um, I wanted, in one story I wrote, I wanted there to be a talking panther. And someone read it and was like, oh, you set this up just like the talking animal in um, uh, Mercedes Lackey's books. And I'm just like, god damn it. <laughs> like, nothing, uh, I don't feel like there's a lot of ways to be unique anymore. Which is why people like N.K. Jemisin are such a kind of breath of fresh air when I read them. Because I'm like, oh my god, no one else is doing this shit. Uh, however, I'm not as good a writer as they all are. And I'm not saying that to be, like, modest. I'm really a very simple writer. I can create worlds. That's my thing. I build worlds. I'm not so great at expressing those worlds, but it's something that I'm working on. So right now, no authors, really. Uh, I, I think, as far as a large influence, I think I take bits and pieces from things that I like, but I don't think they come through in the writing. I think they come through in the process. Um, I forgot to mention Anne Bishop is one of my favorite authors as well from the earlier question. Do you read any comics? If so, which ones have you enjoyed? I read Monstrous, Saga, The Wicked, and The Divine. I think that's it right now. So I sporadically read other comics, but those are the ones I'm really keeping up with. Oh, and Rat Queens. And which ones have you enjoyed? You know, I'm not enjoying Monstrous so much. The, the art is beautiful, but the story has not captured me. I can't put Saga down, and I can't put The Wicked and, Divine, uh, and The Divine down. I recently started dabbling in sugar arrangements. At 31, I can't take any chances, so my sugar baby and I will only perform oral. 
I reward her with gifts, trips, and a steady income. Would you ever become a sugar baby in a similar situation? Please donate to my Patreon. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out. Go to CuriousCat.me uh, slash Sarah the Rebel if you want to ask me any random-ass questions. I'll see you later. Bye.